I'm going to teach you how to calibrate the laser and before using BIMO machine or beam bulk machine you have to check the water tank Today we're using tools provided by Flux open the casing Now we use the tools to open it up and check the water level. If it's too tight, combine it together and twist. <clears throat> use it and Before adding water, we make sure to press the pump. We let it flow. As you can see from the tube, the water flow. So you can determine whether your tank is enough water or not. If not, you have to add a little bit water. Sharing one, one of the case, one of the user, uh, he just bought a beam box. I think he just briefly goes through the instructions by adding the water and he already makes sure the water level, the, the, the tank is fully filled. Then he just, a uh, unusual uh, laser, his work piece, but a few days, the laser tube broke from here, cracked damaging the laser tubes then found out the water level is not there so the most important thing is you have to make sure you need to press the pump let it flow then adding the water if you heard a uh, bubble sounds means your water level is, is not enough yeah so you have to add more of the water adding more water okay now we're gonna check the laser point so from the panel there we have to press home back to the origin point then we use this uh, double side tape open it and place beside the reflection mirror like that place beside stick beside the reflection mirror close it on the panel there we press laser pause for once okay so you can see you have to Remember that is, is your first point laser pause. Okay, from the panel there, we press the maximum to the back. Do the second pause laser pause. So as you can see, this is my first point. This is my second point. Means. I have to go right and down. So I have to tune this. This is control tuning for the left and right. If this screw is too tight, use the tools to loosen it. Okay, loose a bit. Means I have to go. Uh, a bit right so I have to anti-clockwise 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 not much just tune a little bit tune little by little okay then we 
do the uh, laser pulse again anti-clockwise more okay then we have to change the new one because you have to make sure it moves to the place again from pressing the home <coughs> do the laser pause and to the maximum place okay we have to see is it to the right Okay, change a bit so we need a little bit more so it's anti-clockwise okay then the first one here the first one here this one is to adjust up and down so from the first point I need the down a little bit down a little bit so it's also an anti-clockwise Carrying it. Okay, close it. Homing. First pulse, maximum point. Second pulse. Tune until until the two will be on the same spot okay okay after all done we have to screw tight here we have to screw tight so it won't close off okay now the second point will be here so you have to attach here close it to the maximum left side okay to the to the left side pause So you have to remember that's the first laser pulse. Then we move to the back or to the center. Okay, move to the center a bit. Center will do. Then do the second pulse. See. Is it? must be on the same spot okay the third uh, mostly will be the height will be the same the height level will be the same if your second pulse a bit left or right you just loosen this four screw and adjust a bit then the last one is attached underneath the laser head there and pulse this one we need to check whether it is in this one we have to check whether it is in the circle of the center point if yes then everything will be perfect all the best to you